Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day because your day is going to get a hell of a lot better with this video. My name is Sethem and I am going to show you folks how to get wyvern eggs, wyvern milk, and why not even kill an alpha wyvern low tech style. So this can be done at a fairly low level. This will be a two part tutorial video. Now, in this first video, I am going to be showing you guys how to build what I think is one of the best traps. And in the next video, I am going to be showing you folks how to use that trap to get all the things I mentioned before. If you do like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And why not share as you see fit. Since the release of the patch 256, the flyers have been hit heavily with the nerf bat and it is quite difficult nowadays to get a wyvern egg especially for people that are just starting out on scorched earth well it was until this video guys because i am going to show you a really really good tip on how to get it and hopefully this will make life easier for a lot of people especially people that are just starting out with getting the megs on scorched earth in terms of the second video in which I will be showing you how to use this trap, I will be releasing it in about a week's time after this video, unless this video gets 100 likes or over. If this video gets that many likes, I will then release that video at that benchmark. Now, for this trap, the first thing we'll want to do is we want to find a very flat piece of terrain on which we will build a line of 24 foundations and we want to make it as parallel as possible with the scar. You'll see why later in this video. Once we're finished with the first line at each end we'll want to put down two lines heading towards the scar which will be 12 foundations long. At the end of those foundations we'll then go inwards with two foundations on either side after which we will place another two foundations going towards the inside of the trap as this will be the entry point into our trap. We are going to aim to build a V shape out of these foundations so we're going to go in a zigzag manner of two by two until there is a distance of four foundations between the two diagonal lines as this will be the funnel which will guide our wyverns into the trap. After you've done that, you'll want to start placing pillars on the diagonal lines. Now in my case, I slightly miscalculated it the first time around and I doubled up the zigzag lines just to get the right distance at the end of the funnel. So the pillars will be as follows. The first two pillars will be 12 tall. The second pillar will be 10 tall. Then the next pillar, nine tall then the next pillar eight tall, then the next seven tall and so on until we end up at the end and we should end up with a height of about four to five pillars which is what we're going for. Once we're finished with one side we'll then go on to repeat this exact same procedure on the other side and your result should end up looking like this. After we're finished with the pillars we want to fill in this V shape or the diagonal lines with foundations as this will help us in the next part of our build it is important to note that i am building my trap out of metal just because i will be using it to trap alpha wyverns if you're not going to use it for that you can easily build yours out of stone as it will be just as efficient however it will not work on alpha wyverns as they will bite the way out and that is something that we do not want because we have filled in the gap between the two diagonal lines with foundations, this will allow us to connect our pillars on both sides with ceilings. This will be the funnel that will push the wyverns into the trap or direct the wyverns into the trap. And because it will have such a small choking point, they won't be able to get back out due to their large turning circle. If you want, you can connect the ceilings with ramps, but you don't have to. I suggest you don't because you'll economize on materials and it works just as fine as I've just demonstrated with my wiring. Now, the entire trap will be 12 pillars tall. And the only reason we did this in the first step is just to help us align those ceilings for the funnel. So the next step is to put pillars all around the trap 
and we will leave a gap of one foundation between each line of pillars as this is enough to keep the wyverns in and keep us safe. After the lines of pillars have been finished, we'll connect them with ceilings as this will help us later in the build and will act as a scaffolding. And as you can see, in my case, there is a gap of several ceilings because I couldn't place foundations down to support the ceilings. It's not a problem if the gap is, say, one or maybe two ceilings as the wyverns won't be able to get back out which is why I suggested that we look for flat terrain before we even start the build. And as you can probably tell, this will be quite a large structure. The next step in the build is to fill the bottom of the trap with uh, foundations, as by placing down foundations, we'll be able to put the ceilings up as they will act as a supporting structure for the ceilings. Alternatively to save materials, you can go with parallel lines, leaving a gap of one foundation between each line, and this can be reflected in the ceilings, or and shouldn't really impact on our ability to place the ceilings. As foundations and ceilings can be quite costly, you can reflect your design if you've chosen to go with parallel lines on the foundations, you can reflect that design on the ceilings, so this means that if you have placed your foundations in parallel lines with one line gap between them, you will do the exact same on the ceilings. And this will help economize on resources quite a significant amount. And the trap will be just as efficient as if it were filled in. However, for this video, I will be filling in my ceiling completely just to help you guys get a better picture of what the strap is going to end up looking like. To demonstrate how efficient the strap is, I'm going to use my wyvern to lure in some wild wyverns and show you how well it works and that it will actually get the wyvern in and it will get stuck in. They won't be able to get back out and if they don't get in, they will actually get stuck on the trap on the outer wall of the trap and we'll end up losing interest, losing aggro and just flying towards the 50-50 area of the map. While for the purposes of demonstrating the efficiency of this trap I am using my wyvern, I promise you guys that in the next video I will be using an argent, a normal long neck rifle and just bullets to do the exact same thing and you'll see guys that it works really really well. Now, for that reason, I also do suggest trying to build your trap close to the scar, so that way you'll have less a distance to fly to get to the trap, which in turn will increase your survivability. At this stage, now that the trap is done, the next thing we'll do is we'll build a platform on which we will land our preferred flyer safely, and we won't have to deal with all the wild stuff roaming around the desert particularly the death worms so what i've done is i've built a three by three foundation at each corner i have put up a line of pillars approximately five pillars tall and then filled it in with ceilings now this is the platform i'm going to land on and then obviously trank or kill the wyvern that i've trapped because in the next video, I am going to be using Argens to show you guys how easy it is to get milk, eggs, and even kill an alpha wyvern early on in the game with this trap. I've built my platform fairly small. However, if you are going to use larger dinos such as wyverns to land on the strap, then I suggest building it somewhat bigger. You might want to go maybe two more ceilings wider just to help you land on it as the wyvern does struggle to land on it. Because we're not in direct contact with the sand, in this case we shouldn't be able to aggro any wild death worms if there are any around, which is a good thing. Furthermore, other creatures such as mantis scorpions and arthropleuros won't be able to get to us even if they do aggro us and we can safely go on about our business from here. Additionally, I advise building this platform at a fair distance from the trap as we want to keep out of range of the lightning wyverns. We are now at the last stage of the build and that is to build a shield which will act as a defensive barrier in case any wild wyverns for some reason want to go around the trap. So what I've done is I've extended the pillars upwards by a, another six pillars. You can go taller if you do expect to have 
hordes of wyverns chasing you to the strap. I actually strongly recommend it as it will hold them back and they won't push each other over the trap due to the large hitboxes. On my shield I have gone another three pillars wide and with a gap of one ceiling between them. You can go wider and taller and I strongly do recommend it as it will end up saving your life especially early on and if you haven't already got a wyvern as you won't be able to outrun them. In order to get the alignment right I suggest you start off by extending outwards with the ceilings. Go out two ceilings from the pillar that you've already connected to the ground and then go downwards with the pillars and then rinse and repeat until you're happy enough with the distance and width that you have on the shield. That is it for this video guys. I do hope you have found this useful and as you can see this is a fairly low tech trap and the best bit about it is anybody and everybody can use it. There aren't no doors, there isn't anything that could go wrong with it. And if you build it out of metal, like I said, you will be able to actually easily solo kill Alpha Wyverns, even early on. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and share as you see fit. As I said in the beginning of this video, guys, if this video exceeds 100 likes, I will release the second part of this tutorial earlier than one week. Until then, stay safe, guys.